600,000 COVID deaths is a painful number for Americans to take on board. It means 600,000 mothers, fathers, aunties, uncles, grandparents, children, siblings and friends who have died from the disease. Congressional leaders mark the grim milestone with a one-minute silence on the steps of the Congress in Washington, D.C. Early vaccination worked well in the United States. Indeed, the number of deaths here has been falling, but vaccination rates are now slowing down too. That's a threat to President Joe Biden's goal of vaccinating 70% of Americans by the national July the 4th holiday less than a month away. The president himself took time on the sidelines of the NATO summit in Brussels to pay tribute to those who have died and to urge Americans to get vaccinated. My heart goes out to all those who have lost a loved one. I know that black hole that seems to consume you, that fills up your chest when you lose someone that's close to you that you adored. That's why I continue to say to America, if you have not been vaccinated, get vaccinated. While the world's focus on COVID-19 has now moved to India and Brazil, the U.S. remains the hardest hit country in terms of confirmed cases and cumulative deaths. 600,000 is roughly equivalent to all the deaths from cancer that there were in the U.S. in the year 2019. John Terrett, CGTN, New York.